Hey, welcome to Lakeshore RV Center. Let's take a look at your new Arctic Wolf 287 BH fifth wheel. Up front, you've got a molded fiberglass front cap with LED lights built in. We've got a Rhino pin box that would hook to your fifth wheel hitch. Uh, right now, that's measuring at about 51 inches off the ground. Um, there's a range of height. Really, your biggest priority when you hook up to your fifth wheel hitch is going to be to make sure this and the bed of the truck are at least six inches apart. And then that way, you know, you don't have a crunch, crunch situation going on. Uh, we've got a spare tire in here for you. Coming in here, we've got a quick battery disconnect. You're going to flip that into the off position. It's essentially like pulling the positive and negative cables off of the terminal of the battery in the corner really dark kind of hard to see guys but you do have an, a readout for the solar system we have some instructions on operating your auto leveling from Lippert I'll also send you an additional instructional video on that uh, you're gonna have a vent out for your battery and an on and off switch for those pretty LED lights that are built in uh, to the front on your leveling system you have two legs up front and you're gonna pull the pin and that's going to allow them to extend out as they are right now. And you'll be able to pull that pin and bring that pad back up and in. And then use that auto leveling buttons and switches to bring those jacks up or down. Access to one of your two propane tanks that are empty for you for international transport. Motion sensor LED light there. We've got your service cable. A little sewer hose here for you, some electrical adapters. And then you will have access to filling up your water. So we have a connection here for city water or pressurized water. This is going to uh, go past the water pump. So if you're using uh, water that has pressure to it, leaving it hooked up, make sure your water pump is shut off. And then we have a fill for your fresh water. That's going to be filling your onboard holding tank. You will need to use your water pump if you're working off of your tanks. And then we have a black tank sewage flush to clean out that sewage. Hook up for cable and satellite. Down below, you're going to have pull valve for your gray, or excuse me, your black holding tank and gray tank. So uh, there's one here and one there and the let off for it. And then that white one underneath there, I don't know if you can see it, that is going to be the release for your fresh water holding tank. So when it's time to move this guy and you want to dump out that water, you can pull that one and a half inch uh, valve open and that will release that fresh water holding tank. So you're not carrying extra water with you on your journey. Double axles. And then along the back here, we're going to have an additional uh, pull tank for the gray on your kitchen or galley. Along the back here we have the hookup for your 50 amp service cable. We're using the shops one right now so we can keep yours nice and clean. Hot and cold water exterior shower. It does have a shower hose there for you. Hose down kids or critters. Whichever sees fit. And you do have your backup camera installed. LED lighting along the back. A lot of folks like to pop the cap off of the bumper here and stuff their sewer hose in. Feel free to do that. Access to your onboard water heater. Turn this tab. Now allow you access to it. We do have a uh, cap there for the, where the water drain off is, pressure release, all kinds of good stuff in there. Nice big storage for you underneath the bunk bed. And you do have these really cool magnets to hold the door up and out of the way. Outside kitchen with ice maker, small mini fridge, two burner cooktop, which is hooked up to a quick connect hose for propane. And there is the quick connection for you there. Power awning and LED lighting. And then up front you will have 
access to that pass-through storage. Outlets for power as well as a hookup for cable or satellite. And one of your two propane tanks. Step up inside and take a look at the pretty parts. <laughs> More motion sensor LED lighting as we walk up the stairs. You're going to have your control station which will allow you to turn off some interior lighting, exterior lighting, water heater, and your water pump. You'll be able to extend out and bring back the power awning and a slide out. Uh, you do have a 110 volt water heater. Turn on. Thermostat for your AC and furnace. You'll be able to toggle through the settings and find the one you want. Fan, cool, and then a last to your heating. Right now we're showing a readout of, of some great voltage there with the solar on charging up the battery. Of course right now we're hooked up to 50 amp service so that makes life really easy. You do have an on and off switch uh, for the control station. There is a quick QR code here for hooking up to phones for monitoring it as well. You have some lighting options and uh, slide outs as well. Everybody likes to turn this knob. Don't bother. It's magnet. Just pull. <laughs> A nice big huge storage in the pantry. Place to hang up some coats and goodies. You're going to have a ton of USB ports hiding throughout the camper. Fuse panel and breaker box. If you have electrical issues, start there. That's usually a good cheap solution if there is an issue. Hide a bed, sofa, your U-shaped dinette that will drop down. The table will sit on the railing here and allow it to become a, a bed space. The drawers simply lift up. You'll be able to slide these big, huge guys open. And that is going to be under both of the bench seat and your U-shape down that. Pretty light fixtures have their own switch. It's going to be right there in the middle. We have your zebra blinds. And in the kitchen, electric fireplace. And turn that on. You'll be able to change the color of the flames. And then you have temperature and settings there. AM, FM radio, and Bluetooth. And you'll be able to operate the in and outside speakers from here as well. And your 12 volt fridge from GE. Nice big freezer. And your propane stovetop. Some pretty LED lighting for your switches. Oven below. The glass top is in the up position to bring it back down. And then one more time. And then you do have a cutting board along the back wall. It's simply held on with magnets. And keys for your new fifth wheel. Nice big farmhouse stainless steel sink. And as you're going around the camper looking for light switches, if you can't find one on the wall, a lot of times there's going to be an independent button built right onto the lens cap. Stepping into the bedroom, we're going to have hidden underneath here is the ladder that'll hook on and access your top double wide bunk, some USB ports. Unfortunately, I cannot find a replacement window that opens in that size. Um, maybe you can have one fabricated at home that will work or have the glass cut and a slide mechanism maybe put on it. Some great storage up above and some shelving below. And of course, we got some under bottom bunk storage for you. And again, some independent LED lights for the kiddos. AC system is routed through the ceiling. We've got a ceiling fan up there. 
some decorative lights, speakers above, subwoofer above, CO2 and propane detector down low. And we're headed up to the bedroom. Foot flush on your toilet so you hold the lever down to get the water produced to get rid of everything you leave behind. Nice pull blackout curtain for privacy on the shower. And we do have a fan up above and vent. Some more motion sensor, LED lighting, medicine cabinet, and some really nice size storage up above. To the master bedroom we go. Queen size bed. Some fun LED lighting. Furnace for the heater exhaust are going to be all running down low. Huge wardrobe and we do have another spot prepped and ready for a TV if you so wish to have it in your master bedroom. All right, and that is your new Arctic Wolf. 287 Funk House fifth wheel. If you want to, any questions come up, just give me a shout. Let me know. I'm going to get out of here and let the cleaning lady do her thing. And uh, look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Enjoy your new Arctic Wolf 287 BH.